Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. I showed you in the last days a photo for me with a caterpillar and I told you that this is no poser photo because I really work with this machine the last 10 days. So I had some projects that I had to do at my home and I cannot make it only with muscle power. So I need a caterpillar and work there and I learned it at my own so there was no other way to do it. And what I work, which are my projects now and this summer I want to show you now. So this year was the rabbit barn in the past. You can see that it's pretty old. They use it to have the rabbits inside and make them fat without moving. So I never used this, but I had my... Oh, oh, what does do here? Huh? So I use this always for my small chickens. And the sheep was inside of this barn last days while it was raining and they demolate everything. It is all broken, only the, the barn with the small chickens not. So I remove it, I will bring this old stuff out and create here inside a bigger chicken barn for more chickens and maybe some other animals. Yeah, what's the action here? Da sieht da jetzt hop hop hop. Oha, raus, raus, ihr spinnt ja wohl, raus, 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 wo kommt es denn hier schon wieder her? This is Oha, the sheep that I um, make healthy again over weeks. The animal doctor, the wet, pretty, was close to call him death, but as you can see, he is alive and well. Here behind me is the sheep shit. Um, I had it in the past directly in the front of the sheep barn. But this really makes me angry because when it rains it is all floating everywhere. And in the end I can barely open the door. Hello? Uh, yeah, and now I uh, remove it with the caterpillar in just one hour 
and this really saved a lot of time because I'm not sure if you had in the past, uh, if you had ever moving uh, shit like this, it is so uh, hard and you can't barely move it. So it saved a lot of time with the caterpillar and now I have here in front of the barn more space. Oha. Hmm? Schatzi. <laughs> so this area here is now complete free and I can move again here. I was not able to make hay the last weeks. The grass is pretty high and I had to cut it now because it is falling down again and I need the hay for the winter months. But I had no three days uh, sunshine the last weeks. There was always rain between and if I do it only with handcraft, I need three or four days sunshine that the grass will dry and I have hay. So I hope for the next two weeks, because then it is too late. I dig there and hole with the caterpillar because at this point where now the stones and the sand is should be later a garden house where I can put all my stuff, all my garden equipment over the winter months inside. At this place in the garden was my glass house, my plastic house. So there is nothing now, only earth because I had to remove it. This plastic house was older than 40 years. So a family member had this 20 years in the garden. Then the grandmother had it 50 years in the garden and the rest was from me. So it really was stable for a long time. But now um, the plastic was just going out and there was some small particles, some small plastic parts which are falling down and the roof was broken, the window was broken, so it doesn't make sense to have it much longer because I don't want to have plastic parts here everywhere in the ground, in the earth. So I remove it and I don't know if I can have an and a plastic house this summer or just the next summer or I had to build something at my own. I don't know, but actually it is free. Actually there is not really much growing in my vegetable garden. Why? Um, while I'm doing this I remove my compost. I had a massive compost and I don't want to have it longer at this place, so I remove it and put all the compost here in my vegetable garden. It is not all rotten, which means that I had to dig it under the earth and this also need a lot of time. So I think middle July or end of July I can put some seeds in the ground. Actually there are only my tomatoes and cucumbers, nothing else. This is not much for my vegetable garden, but... Um, after the failed self-sufficiency vegetable season last year I had to start a little bit slowly because last year cost me a lot of energy. I've done so much in the vegetable garden and I can harvest nearly nothing because it rains almost during the summer so, so much and this year I had to start carefully, slowly and I just see what will grow and what not. Here behind me is my front yard. 
this is the area where I drive with the car inside and out and I always had some lakes inside because there is just earth and when it rains stronger I had a lake there and I had to drive through with the car through it and walk through it so I dig it out and fill it out with um, stones and sand now that it will stay dry. So now you know the reason why it was so silent at my channel here during the last two weeks. I planned to finish this project here till fall so I've learned over the last years that I had not everything finished at once and in a short time I had to make rest between and then everything will be fine. So tomorrow I'm out in the woods again and make a new bushcraft video for you and you can see it soon. So stay tuned and we see us in the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye!